We all love our friends and family, but what happens when you see them starting to make bad decisions? A blogger named Ruth, who writes for the website The Better Mom, recently tackled the issue of how to show love to someone when you disagree with some of their life choices. On one hand, you want to give advice because you have their best interests at heart. However, if you push them too hard, they might not listen to you. So ladies, have you ever been in this situation and how do you handle it? <laughs> well, my mama, I mean, it's just trying to get her, you know, because she's older. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. trying to get her up and, and at them, you know, because it's like the more you just sit, yeah. it's not good for you, especially, you know, yeah. you got to get up and move. So I had yeah. to figure out a way. So I ended up um, putting her into a different type of um, senior living facility. It's yeah. not a nursing home. It's like an actual It's like building. dorm rooms, right? Right. Almost for like... Well, no, it's actual full like apartments apartment buildings, yeah. and everything, but they have activities downstairs. Great. Exercise great. your mind. Exactly, so that she would get up, and, and now she loves it. So oh, it's good. like, instead of me talking... I had to change her environment yes. so that she just wasn't by herself. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes when you um, when you're trying to tell a person, hey, Hey, you're trying to improve their life, sometimes you got to look at, at what's happening around them and mm -hmm. try to change it, you know, and that's what I did for her. So change now she moves and everything, yeah. So oh, that was great. that. And that okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm weird about stuff like this. What do you mean? What do you mean? And Jeannie hates this about me. <laughs> oh, I know. Jeannie has going. told me, I sometimes just feel like sometimes you got to let them live and learn, and they might have mm -hmm. to figure it out the hard way. But I feel like unless you come and you ask me, even if I see that it's not the right thing you're doing, I feel like it's not my place to tell you yeah. how to live your life. Yeah. So um, it gets weird. You're always like, why don't you just say something to them? Yeah. I'm like, girl, that ain't my place. That's but not what about what... if it's something like, like, like have drugs you ever... or something okay, like that? Okay, obviously drugs, I would be like, girl, don't take drugs. But like, for instance, I've had girlfriends <laughs> or family members that have dated guys that I just think are awful for them. Yeah. That yeah. I know in the long run are gonna break their hearts. It's not gonna go anywhere. This is gonna end up with me and you crying, holding each other in the middle of the night. <laughs> like, I know, but... What good is it gonna do for me to tell you, leave that guy? Right. You're not gonna leave the guy, you're gonna ditch me instead. Yeah. yeah. So I recognize that and I just, yeah. I'm like, look, I get it. You're gonna have to live and learn and I will be there to wipe your tears, yep. but I'm certainly not gonna be the cause of us not being friends because yeah. I'll let you know what I thought about. Like things like that, I think yeah. are just not your place. Got You'd it. be surprised. I'm actually taking a page from your book right now. Mm -hmm. um, I have a family member who at an early stage in life made some bad choices, spent some hard time in jail and came out um, a, a drug user and fell hard into drugs. And that pattern became slick, cyclical for about six years. And you have to imagine for a family, a close knit family of yes. five for me, we were like on him. And, and, yes. and, and for you, you know, I was in there like, how can I help you? How can I improve your life? How can I get you away from the stress? We did rehab, we moved him out of that environment, moved him to a new environment, got new friends, every single thing you could try to do. But then you start to realize that no matter what, I noticed, and it's actually because of a book I'm reading right now, that life is gonna give you patterns, right? And it's gonna be up to you to break it. But until you yourself break yes. that pattern, life is gonna keep hitting you with it until you learn that lesson. Yes. Whether it's a bad boyfriend, a bad marriage, a bad job, not being able to get a job, or drug use. So this is the first year my family has decided to step off yeah. and actually love the hard way, which is, what God does, unconditionally love you. Like, still love you, I got you, we're here. But when you're ready to make that change yes. yourself. Yeah. Yes. And I know sometimes it's gotta yeah. be hard. Oh my yeah. God, if you wanna just get it's in there. So yes. hard. I actually, I, I love giving advice. Yeah. Um, and usually people, even people that I don't even know, they always come up to me yes. and ask for my advice. Yeah. I can remember being in junior high and we're just, you know, out at lunch and a girl would just be like, I need your help. I, I feel like I can just talk to you and I would give it. So, but I've learned the hard way, Adrian and Jeannie, that people are going to do whatever they yes. want yes. to yes. do. So mm -hmm. what I do now when I give advice, I give advice with the intention of sowing that seed. Not yes. really like telling them what to do. And then I just feel a little, a little bit better yeah. because my husband, he always used to say, you know what, your life is like you choose your own adventure book. You remember yes. those books yes. when we were yeah. you know, younger? You yeah. can only give that advice and that, that uh, guidance, but they're gonna have to be the one yeah. to make that decision themselves. Yeah. And you have to so love it's like them a combination it. of what we're saying. Yeah. Yeah. She's saying she would tell them it, but at the same time say like, like but I love you regardless of yeah. the decision you end yes. up making. And yeah. I never okay. ever say, yeah. I told you so. 
Oh. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like I would, that. I mean, for me, I would want, even if you think I'm going to do whatever, I, at least tell me. Yep. You mm -hmm. know, if you're a real, like, because there, there have been times that I've, like, been in a relationship and my friend has seen, like, a guy out with somebody else. Oh, that's And different. then they wouldn't tell me because they didn't want to get into it. No, I'll it. tell you that And so part. I'm like, at least tell me <laughs> and let you. me have the choice. I'm yes. not, a, you know, afraid of that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'll yeah. tell you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like that. Some people not like that, but I'll I'm like, you tell, tell I, me. I'll tell you. me. <laughs> I'll tell you I'm if I see... <laughs> what? what? Well, we all know that date. Oh, oh, well, well, speaking yeah. of making <laughs> bad choices, don't you hate when your friend posts a terrible picture of you on their social media? Yes. Yeah. Oh, dang. What's wrong with people? So this has happened to you, I take it, audience. What? Yes. Okay. According to an article on the website Stuff, you shouldn't ask them to take it down. What? Mm. Hold on a second. The article says that when someone posts a bad photo of you, it actually presents you with an authentic, realistic representation of who you are. That's another way of saying ugly. <laughs> they say if we really want to no, represent ourselves <laughs> as authentic tree online, moss. we need to stop policing other people's pages. So, ladies, do you freak out when your friends don't filter you? Yes! For me, it's not about a filter. Filters, Just yeah. catch me at the right angles, yo. Like, yeah. how about I not be like this? Yes. Yeah. Like, right, that is right. not the look. Right. Like, you know that's I not how I look. It's not about a filter. You know what Just I... make sure my... You know? Yeah, no, but you know yeah. what I really hate? What? Is when they're the only ones that look good in the picture. <laughs> yes! Then I look at them side-eyed. You're and like I this? Yeah. Yes! But they look not. And they're... You're, yeah, you're, you're cock-eyed in the photo, <laughs> and they're like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, no. or that they only edit themselves and, and don't go. edit you. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. How are you bringing your waistline but don't bring in mine? Okay. I have to give you uh, props, A, because every single time you edit she a picture, will. she, she will actually edit edits everybody. everybody. <laughs> she will edit everybody. I edit the background. <laughs> I edit you. Yeah. I edit your she man. Will. I smooth out a forehead. Yes. yes. Now, yes. Tamara, you need to get a photo release signed, oh you know, in order to post her picture because well, she I'll will be you, pissed you know, off. Okay. You guys, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Okay. Um, because mainly, <laughs> well, I've never told people this because I just found out. The thing is, is people always think I'm pregnant in a in a photo usually. Yeah. So I always, I mean, I don't care if I have gray hair or or maybe uh, chip you know nails. my a chip nail or nail polishes. I, I don't care or about that. Or if you that don't have makeup, you post yeah. yourself without makeup all, all the time. The time yeah, and with beautiful. my gray hairs. It's just when my belly looks a little bit bigger. I don't want the picture to become about. Oh my God, is Tamara pregnant? The reality is, you guys, I have diastasis recti, which is when your abs actually split from having multiple babies. Damn! Or have big baby. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It so you splits. still have the the mommy the mommy pooch, yeah. and, and, and you know you can't you gotta, get. It's hard to get them. It's, back and I'm together. trying, y'all. I mean, come on, give me a break. But oh, I get that. You don't want to picture you yeah. at a bad angle. I didn't know there was a It's name. a bad yeah. angle, Tam. Because yeah. you you could get some good angles. You're gorgeous. Okay, oh, why, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we all agree that absolutely common courtesy. Look out for your friends. If you're gonna edit yourself, edit yourself too. But you all have to have that friend who's also so annoying about oh. every single angle about Jimmy them. Five. They, they are so <laughs> annoying. You're like. Don't take the damn picture with us. Get out. L literally, get out. We, I, we have a mutual friend uh, who it, literally at this point, I ask her to please stand at the end yes. of the photo of yes. all of us. So you can, girl, if you don't like it, bitch, we gonna crop you. Yep. 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 Every photo can't be bad. It can't be that every yes. photo is bad. Yes. Literally, she will swipe. You could have taken 26 photos. Yeah. No, oh no, girl. Oh, really? yep. Yep. Angle, but, and it is so annoying. You're like, just get on the end, okay? Yeah, yeah. You'll get cropped out of you. Because you can't mess up now all of our pictures. Because yep. everybody else could look great and really want to post it. And that one person prohibits you from living your best IG life. Yes. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. You know what I mean? You it's can't so be stressful. that picture. And it's, it's, it's so bad. And those people, like, they just... There's, it's like they don't like themselves, honestly. It's actually really, really sad. Yeah, it really is. It goes deeper. Have you guys deeper. done like, an intervention with her? I'm, we're considering it. Okay. Yes, my, yeah. my intervention is... Take a solo, ho! Go! Like, yeah. on your own. Like, then you also much. have friends who don't care how you look in the photo, don't care to ask your permission. Oh, she at least she knows about herself. <laughs> Give a round of applause for 
for knowing herself, for recognizing yeah. who she is. Yo, we literally used to call her the Lonnie Sneak Peek <laughs> because you, you almost would have to be careful of how you behave. You're like, yo, let me not get too crazy because Lonnie will full on have the video, post yes. it, and she'll yes. be like, ha ha, did you see what I posted yes. last night? Yes. I love it. You guys know how on Instagram there's a video, right? You, you do the video. And so it's a long video, but you have the option to do a cover shot. So the cover shot, yes. you get to scroll through the video and pick the most yes. attractive mm -hmm. version, right? Lonnie will straight up find the most ugliest version where you're like, all of us like this. One, two, three. <laughs> and she'll post that. That's and, the one that gets and on. And you're like, damn, girl. I get enjoyment in You doing always that. ask when you post my children. That's though. true. So I yes. appreciate that. So she that. don't care about adults. She does not. Yeah, but she loves the children. The yeah, babies. There we go. It's babies. always about the babies. All right. <laughs> That's good. You don't, you don't care about me. Well, <laughs> guess where? A lot of men are checking out your IG photos. The bathroom. What? I said it. According to a recent study, men spend an average of seven hours a year <laughs> hiding in the bathroom so that they can get some peace and quiet. That's right. Researchers found that men are hiding from their nagging partners, their children, and their chores. Oh, but what? it's not just men. Apparently, lots of oh, moms do this absolutely. too to get a minute or two to themselves. Yeah. So, ladies, <laughs> Tam, yeah. do you agree that the bathroom is a good hiding spot when you want to get away? I, I thought so, but my children are smart. No. Um, my children actually know the exact time to get in there before I can lock the door. Oh, what? Yes. And if I do lock the door, they will sit there and be like, Ma, 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 Mommy, 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 Tamara, Tamara, Tamara. <laughs> So then you like want to just open the door because you're annoyed. What if you're doing a number two? They don't care. I even told Araya. I said, Araya, mommy's going to smell up the bathroom. You want to come in here? And she was like, yes, yes, oh. yes. Yeah. So I don't know. But now, you guys, I have one thing that works. I don't what? know if it works for all moms. But now the shower is my oh. place. Because the kids don't want to, they don't want to get wet. And now my husband's like, oh my gosh, Tamir, the water bill? Why is it so high? <laughs> it's because I hide in the shower. <laughs> yeah. I'm, the shower. Yeah. I'm like seeing this dude, right? And so when we get up, like in the morning, I was noticing that he would go to the bathroom. This dude, like, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and so you he stays with you because you said in the morning. Yeah. Anyway. So y'all, does he... he have a toothbrush at your place? <laughs> yeah, he does. <gasps> oh! That's it. Weekend. That's it. It's, no, no, no. Okay. 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 This is the thing, though. He he was standing there so long, I would forget he was in the house, right? Because I fall back to sleep, yes. all this other kind of stuff. But I'm gonna tell you, with a lot of men, you want them to stay in that bathroom because they be blowing it up, okay? <laughs> and then you know, then they want to you know look at their phones and all this other yeah. kind of stuff. So I applaud. I'm like, let them have their little time. I okay. can have my little time, you know. And then and then that's it. I think it's a good idea, and I this is 100 percent true. true. Men do that. Yes. 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 Okay. My I issue hear you. is, I get that the moms do it because moms have so much pressure on them. They're actually running a household, well, maybe children. Dads. I have an issue with a husband hiding from his chores. Like, how old are you? Are you three years old? And I have to say something. I'm tired of people giving a bad, what's that called? A bad rep, rep to marriages and wives. Like, I don't know who to blame, the husband? Or can y'all women stop nagging your husband so they don't have to go in closets <laughs> and, or bathrooms and hide? Like, what are you doing to your husband that he wants to go mm. hide in the bathroom? Right. Are you being yeah, yeah, yeah? Like, don't be that person. You give a bad name for the rest of people that are just chilling, allowing their husbands to live their lives. And at the same time, if you are an irresponsible husband who doesn't want to do your choice and you're acting like a three-year-old, that's disgusting and corny. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> but like, what? Like, I'm, I read this thing and I was like, Word like you're hiding from your chores. Like, there's also another reason to hide in bathrooms. Tell me if anybody gets like this, but sometimes I don't know how it hits me. But when I am out in public spaces or maybe even like a party, when there's too much commotion going oh, on, yeah. or too much, just a lot of screaming and yelling, I need to go in the bathroom just to get away from yeah. it. Yeah. So have you ever? You don't need to go to the bathroom, but you just take your phone <laughs> and you're just like, <laughs> and you go and you close the door and you just sit there and you're like. Quiet. Yes. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. do that during yeah. parties? Yeah, I do that at yeah. work here. I do... No, for real. Yeah, and then my dressing room. You, you say yeah. you're using the bathroom. Chris is knocking at my door. Adrian! Yeah. Adrian! And I'm like, oh, just please. Yes. And I'm yes. just scrolling, enjoying just my life. Chill.